Today we learn about Pseudomonas aeruginosa, which is another gram negative bacillus. Pseudomonas aeruginosa belongs to the genus Pseudomonas. As I said previously, aeruginosa is a gram negative bacillus. It has a simple growth. That means it does not require special growth factors. Therefore, it is not a fastidious organism. It just has a simple growth. It's a non-sporing bacillus. It is usually motile by one or two polar flagella. Aeruginosa, as the name implies, it's a strict aerobe. But it can grow anaerobically as well in the presence of nitrates. Therefore, most of them are saprophytes found in soil, in water and in moist places. Therefore, it has the ability to grow on a wide variety of culture media over a wide temperature range. Aeruginosa emits a sweet grape-like odor that is easily recognized. Another special feature is that they produce pigments. Mainly, they produce a blue-green pigment called pyocyanin. Apart from that, it produces some other pigments like pyoverdin, pyorubin and melanin as well. Pseudomonas is oxidase positive. So, it differs from Enterobacteriaceae because it derives energy from oxidation of carbohydrates, not by fermentation. Aeruginosa is a glucose or lactose non-fermenter. Let's look at about the infections caused by Pseudomonas aeruginosa. The community acquired infections caused by Pseudomonas aeruginosa are uncommon and usually mild. But the hospital acquired infections caused by Pseudomonas aeruginosa are more common and more severe. Let's first look at the community acquired infections caused by Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Actually, it causes a wide variety of infections. It can cause ear infections like otitis externa, the inflammation of the external ear. Also, infections in the eyes like corneal infections by contaminated contact lenses. Also, it can cause varicose ulcers. And also, it may cause jacuzzi or whirlpool rash, which is an acute self-limiting folliculitis. And it is associated with recreational and occupational factors. Catheter-related urinary tract infection, ventilator-associated pneumonia can be cited as example for infections caused by aeruginosa in hospital setting. Wound infections, bed sores, burns are some other examples for this. Pseudomonas infections often become bacteremic. It can lead to necrotizing pneumonia which is associated with a high mortality rate in neutrophenic patients. Septicemic infections of Pseudomonas aeruginosa are characterized by black necrotic skin lesions known as ectema gangrenosum. The lungs of individuals with cystic fibrosis are particularly susceptible to life-threatening infections caused by Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Pseudomonas aeruginosa shows resistance to many antibiotics and disinfectants. However, it can be treated with aminoglycosides like gentamicin and amikacin and also by keftacidim which is a third generation cephalosporin. Also, it can be treated with antipseudomonal penicillins like ticarcillin and piperacillin and also by carbapenems including imipenem and meropenem. So, this is the end of the video today. Subscribe the channel for more videos like this. Thank you.